I want to show you how to create a quick integration using Integration Manager. And what we're going to integrate are GL transactions. Let's take a look at the source file. In Excel, I've got my source file here. I've got all the GL distributions I'm going to make a transaction out of. I've saved this to a CSV file. And now let's go over to Integration Manager and we'll put the integration together. I'm going to create a new integration. I'm going to keep this name here. And I'm going to add it two sources. I'm going to add a header source and a detail source. I'm going to make both of these sources from the CSV file that I just saved. So I'm going to add a source and I'm going to add a text source. Let's define a new one here. Call it header. I'm going to look up my CSV file. There it is. It's common delimited. The first row has column names. I'm going to save that. Let's look at the columns. There they are. The transaction date is going to be my key field. And because this is going to be the header field, what I'm going to do is I've got all the detail records out there, but I only need one record for the header. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all those records by the transaction date. This will effectively give me one record. Now let's add another source, which is going to be the detail source. I'm looking at the same CSV file. But from Integration Manager standpoint, it's actually a different source. We can do that. So this is going to be detail. I'm looking at that same CSV file. First row has column names. Let's take a look at the columns. There they are. I'll select this as the key field. And I am done. Now, because I have two source files, I do have to create a relationship. Easy to do. Go up to the Relationship window here. Do a one to many. I'm done. Now, let's take a look at the destination. I'm going to add a destination. It's going to be from the financial series. It's the general journal entry. I've got that in my system. Let's take a look at the mapping for that. Here's the mapping. Uh, this is the header record. And for the batch ID, I'm going to uh, put a constant in there. And for the date, I'm going to draw that from the source field. There it is. In the reference, I'm going to make that a constant. And I'm done with that. That's the header record. Now let's take a look at the detail record. The first thing I want to do is go over to the Options tab and specify that I'm going to use a specific record set. And that record set is going to be the detail one. I've got that set. Let's go back to the field and map those. The account number is going to come right from that detail record. Let's drop down here, get the detail. There we go. Account number. The debit account is going to be there. Because this has a credit amount in a separate column, I'm going to select that as well. And for the distribution reference, I'm just going to use the source field that's in my file. And I'm done. I've got my integration. I've got the header. I've got the detail piece. I've mapped them here. Let's save that. Let's run that now. Uh, and the first thing I want to do is go back to the options here make sure that if I don't have a batch that I create a batch. Now I'm ready to go. Let's run it. Okay, it's done. It's successful. Let's go over to Great Plains here. Let's take a look at that transaction that I just created. And here it is. I've got roughly 24 entries. They're all there. And that transaction is ready to post or ready to edit. So this is really quite an easy thing to do. If you want to put a quick integration together, use Integration Manager, follow a few key steps there, and you've got it.